Hey y'all and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. So the server progression of Milestone 4 has fully completed. It got to 100%. This is on PC. We can see here in the Redeem Citadel campaign in Milestone 4 we have unlocked our new features. Now these new features involve being able to purchase these celestial wings from the Zen market. This is a legendary mount for 4000 Zen. That now is a hefty price. But regardless, in addition to this, we have also unlocked the following. The ability to basically upgrade, restore and create celestial armor. This all being in the new unlocked room, the Celestial Forge. And these new items are now available for purchase. So let's go ahead and check them out. Now the new room that has finally been unlocked is just up this stairwell all the way up here through the archway. And then you get to the Great Hall here. You can see opposite over there was the room that was unlocked with all the angels porting in. And over here we have unlocked the armory. Now there's one thing I would like to show you first before I show you the forge. We go to the Zariel Favor vendor here, Yael, and we can see the new items that she sells. First in Miscellaneous, we can now purchase basically Duchess Blessings, so we can purchase more of them, and we can also purchase more of our anvils of chorus. Nothing extra in the Hunt Lures, nothing extra in the Equipment tab. However, in Transmutes, now we have got a few more extra items. You can see here we have got a new fashion set, this one being how I am equipped with now. And, spoiler, we now can have this cape, which is basically like, let's remove this, it's basically like a galaxy. So when you move it around, the stars don't move position, basically on your screen, and the whole entire cape itself changes its galactic color. On top of this, we also have acquired these new angel wings. These wings are more, yeah, like fairy type, just mystical light glowing out of your back. I plan to get these as soon as possible, except they will set you back a hefty amount of 20,000 Zariel favor. And in my opinion, it goes pretty well with this fashion set of the celestial angels. Now, I'm sure you guys have been itching to find out what exactly the Celestial Wings look like that are in the Zen store. These are very similar to the Wings, which the Divine Wings, which you obtain from the leaderboard. You can see here when we view the leaderboard, they have obtained these Divine Wings, which basically have golden tips on the feathers of the wings. Now, yes. I am going to go ahead and, yeah, spend this 4,000 Zen. I'm not going to even bother with trying to get a voucher, but let's go. We have made our purchase and we now have it in our inventory. It is a count bound there when to buy it, but I am not sure if it's a count wide. Let's go ahead and equip it. We double click it and now it's bound. Now these wings, if this is your first legendary mount, it's not such a bad purchase as you will gain movement speed and also power there, along with Divine Intervention, which is a pretty decent attack combat power. So we now have these unlocked. We pop over to our character sheet mount section and we can now go ahead and actually equip them, the Celestial Wings. We choose them, we mount up, and ta-da! Now, I'm not overly a fan of that it shows my shield. I'm gonna have to sort that out. But damn, this is cool. And there we go, we changed our fashion a little bit. And now we have the wings like this. It looks pretty awesome, if I do say so myself. They also have a nice blue tint to them. I don't believe you can change that color scheme at all. But these will be the celestial wings. And the divine wings will have the gold tint to them so you'll be able to clearly see who has grinded out that Zariel favor for the redeemed citadel milestone 4 so let's just check real quick if this mount is account wide looking in the claims valuable tab in the promotion where we see our other legendary mounts it doesn't seem to be the case however i will switch to another character to confirm so I'm here on a different character. We go ahead and look in our claims valuable tab. And no, there doesn't seem anywhere we can claim those wings. Let's just check quickly in the Zen market. 
you can go ahead and yes this mount is account wide you can go ahead and claim it for free on all your other characters once you have purchased it on one character phew that's a relief it is and there we have the wings on this character we can go ahead and slot them real quick mount up and here we can fly around Avernus on our angelic wings on my other character so I'll be able to do this on all my characters whew that is a relief good good so now let's fly over yes I can fly now Ooh. except you can't go any higher than this limit but sure over to the forge and let's see what's going here and the new stuff you can obtain interact with the forge and you can go and select this now we have three tabs here the first tab we can go ahead and purchase the divine armor I'm not sure what's going on with the visuals of this divine ward set but the divine mystic set we can see the visuals all of just here looking pretty awesome especially with those angel wings which you can yeah those purchased for 20,000 Zarya favor as you saw there from Yael now if we actually look at these set it's exactly the same as the lion guard set from the infernal citadel or from the Valenhas zone campaign basically they have a reduced item level however of 1230 so that's 20 item level less however we go over to the upgrade angel gear you can go ahead and see that yes we can now go ahead and upgrade this divine armor all the way to 1260 item level thus it being 10 item level higher than our lion guard making this set a little bit better and to actually obtain these you'll first have to basically purchase these they'll cost you 10,000 Zariel favor and then over here you'll have to purchase one of your duchess blessings which I believe will set you back a total of 12,000 Zarya favor. So all in all, to get the upgraded angel or divine gear, you'll have to spend 22,000 Zarya favor per piece. Moving on, we can now see all of the different hunt gear displayed in one tab. No longer will we have to rely on word of mouth or screenshots and combining them together. We can now actually go ahead and see exactly all of the gear we can hope to obtain from the hunt gear however one thing missing here is the shirt and pants from the tier 3 meaning we can't upgrade it and yes here we can go ahead and upgrade that gear we go ahead and look at these uh, wisps of the shadow demon you can see I can go ahead and upgrade them to the blessed wisps putting their item level to that 1260 so to upgrade this hunt gear, you'll have to have one of, again, those Duchess Blessings, costing you 12,000 Varial Favor. I have currently have one of them, which I obtained through the Milestone 4. And let's go ahead and upgrade these Wisps of the Shadow Demon. This will basically, if we go ahead, it will upgrade them to have the highest item level of any gear piece within the game, excluding those shirts and pants. We go ahead and make sure to mark this as protected. One thing to mention, you won't be able to upgrade your hunt gear if you have one of those armor kits slotted into it or you have any of your enchantments slotted in. Other than that, you will be able to upgrade it. Now, I assume there is going to be a fix coming, so don't go overly getting outrageous that yes you grinded out that gear you put one of those armor kits in and now you can't upgrade it well you will be able it's just they're going to have to apply a fix to that so yeah that's basically it for this video uh, that's everything pretty much new that has been unlocked with the completion of the server progression of milestone 4 so with regards to these angel wings if you're currently wearing the seductive set like i am right now you can see it here in my fashion tab if you do equip the angel wings and you mount up, they will basically remove those seductive wings. If I go ahead and dismount, you can see I'm wearing the seductive wings. And when we mount back up, ta-da, I'm wearing these wings. And this, I assume, will probably be the, the same effect with those angel wings from Yael. So in my opinion, these are really cool. Perhaps a bit overpriced at 4,000 Zen, but it is what it is. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you did, consider leaving a video a like. And if you're new around here, consider subscribing. And we'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.